Hi there, it's Julie Kinnear of the Julie Kinnear team with Keller Williams Co-Elevation Realty. And I'm here to talk about the numbers, the market watch from Toronto Real Estate Board as of December, 2022. And uh, happy new year to everybody. And let's talk about something more fun than numbers right now. And that would be Canada's G World Cup Junior Boys uh, winning the gold last week. That was awesome. And um, okay, so back to numbers. You know, there's lots and lots of talk about what's going on in the market right now. And the reality is that there was a huge record year in 2021 after, uh, you know, after sort of the slowdown of COVID. So we're down actually 38% in number of transactions in 2022, which is interesting because everybody was talking about it's the hottest market ever. And ironically, it really was the hottest market ever because there were so many multiple offers on every property. So that meant there was like 10 people bidding on the same place. So actually, it took a long time and a lot of people actually weren't lucky enough to even get in the market at that point. And um, so that actually affects part of the you know numbers. And then, of course, the interest rates started to rise and people started to hold back. And uh, so between those two things, um, we definitely had la lack of um, less number of transactions, but also... On the positive side, we had less number of uh, new listings come out, which also affects uh, the you know number of transactions in the long run. So we actually had less number of listings in 2022 than in 2021. So it's actually kept the prices you know, higher than people expected as it sort of started to slow down. It's actually sort of leveled off and in total we're around 7% increase from 2021 as far as market prices or the market value at the end of this year or end of sort of 2022, not trying to confuse you. Uh, so that's sort of interesting. The other thing is uh, that rental market has uh, increased, you know, quite a bit. Um, you know, like, as you probably heard, the uh, rents on properties have, has gone skyrocketing. And that's, of course, because prices of properties went up and now interest rates have gone up. So affordability has gone down, which meant, means that um, investors are allowed to ask for more, you know, whatever rent and people are staying in their rentals longer. So that's sort of interesting. And then another thing is that I've been following the uh, laneway housing and garden suite um, option for rentals. And that's definitely becoming much more popular in a lot of the neighborhoods uh, where people are building these um, additional suites, not just for uh, your own home office, but for actually rentals as well. So let's talk very quickly about what's happening with the mortgage rates. And the mortgage rates are obviously have been going up and up and up as the Bank of Canada has raised their rate. And what that is doing is, you know, in the short run, the people on variable have been most affected and they're really feeling it. The good news is that the banks did offer, you know, make sure that there's like a stress test. They also make sure that um, anything over a million dollars is not CMHC or insurable, which means you have to have 20% down. So there's more equity in the properties. And the way the banks are sort of trying to help out people who's who are gonna be af affected as their mortgages come due and they were locked in rates, um, they're gonna readjust or refinance and they're gonna actually a length in their amortization so that's going to actually bring down a little bit of a you know sort of a buffer a little bit but everybody's going to be affected financially which is going to trickle into a lot of other people's extra spending money extra money on sports extra money on traveling and uh, you know inflation is definitely causing some hardships and we're going to see how it's going to roll out um, just make sure you contact the Julie Kinnear team if you have any questions yourself. We're always here to help and guide you and give you as much advice as we possibly can.